the job of the Secretary of Education is to ensure that every community has quality education. When I first heard about Betsy DeVos being nominated, I thought, oh God, no. I hope she can be stopped. Betsy DeVos was nominated by Donald Trump to be Secretary of Education. She is a very radical extremist choice because she's actually opposed to public education. In nominating DeVos, Trump makes it loud and clear that his education policy will focus on privatizing, defunding, and destroying public education in America. The New York Times notes DeVos helped turn her home state of Michigan into one of the nation's biggest school choice laboratories, and the result was disastrous. If given the power and authority, she would eliminate public education and replace it with religious schools and uh, charter schools. Our desire is to continue to help um, advance God's kingdom. The DeVos family, Betsy and, and her husband, they sponsored a referendum to change the state constitution so that money could flow to religious schools. And that referendum was defeated. Subsequently, Betsy DeVos and her husband have put their money into charter schools. Charter schools are free public schools that receive state and federal funds. These schools are privately run. Betsy DeVos and her family have helped to create the environment in the state of Michigan, uh, which has many, many charter schools. There are some good charter schools, but there are not very many of them. Here in Michigan, 70 to 80 percent are run by private for-profit companies. So while technically those schools are public schools, that public money goes to private for-profit. The DeVos family spend money through their political action groups uh, to run people against supporters of public education in states across the country. We change policy through political effort to elect or defeat candidates in states based on this issue. If you're looking at Michigan, our entire state is failing. And giving her this job based on that, it's a sin and a shame. A lot of schools and people in authority are letting our children down. Charter schools get the vast majority of their funding from the public, but they don't have the accountability mechanisms that public schools have to have. Michigan has no accountability for charter schools. Michigan is now spending a billion dollars a year on unregulated, unaccountable, unsupervised charter schools. The quality of education in the charter schools is worse than in the public schools. These schools are doing worse than our traditional public schools. They're not able to read at certain levels, even through high school. All the parents want is greater choice for their children, and they're happy with how their kids are doing. If they're not happy, they change to another school. My children have attended 27 schools trying to give them a quality education. I had five children in school and they closed those schools down without any community input. In my city, charter schools can open and close whenever and wherever they want. Three Detroit charter schools shut their doors forever. This charter school suddenly closed its doors in the middle of the day. Suddenly and unexpectedly closing its doors. How much of that money is going to be returned now that it's closed? Well, none, Bob. Not a penny. Everything, computers, furniture, paper, all of it bought with taxpayer dollars. The school has no students, but it gets to keep everything it bought. What children are robbed of is the stability that they need to learn. They had no regulations. They were changing management companies in the middle of the school year. And it wasn't the teachers. The teachers were awesome. How long can you go year after year yeah. with not getting what you yeah. need, yeah. without not having an assistant right. in the classroom, overcrowded classes, not enough supplies, mm -hmm. no prep time? Who's going to benefit from that? Because it's not the children. 
The best schools are those where children and teachers and parents work together and where there's a good relationship where everybody is centered on uh, helping the children do better. Even after waiting in line, their kids may not get in because the line just got them in the building where they had to enter a lottery. Not all of the, the parents and the, and the students that apply are able to get into the program every year. As districts lose their, their federal oversight, they do begin to resegregate. Charter schools are a new form of modern day segregation. The more choices we have, the more competition we have, but we don't have good choices in our city. Wherever you hear the term school choice, remember that it was started initially by the Southern segregationists like George Wallace of Alabama and the uh, many segregationists who, like him, wanted to keep the schools absolutely divided. That's my fear, that we're going to go back 50, 60 years again, and that's what scares me. Because of the lack of oversight, the administrators and the people in charge of these charter schools can do what they wish with the money. Research into that has found a lot of wrongdoing. Our money is being mismanaged by people who are in it for the money. In Philadelphia alone, at least 10 executives or top administrators have pled guilty in the last decade to charges like fraud, misusing funds, and obstruction of justice. One of the charter schools my daughter attended they didn't have books. They were making copies from the books and sending them home. It funnels public money that should be going to public schools into charter schools, which of course leads public education to fail. And then the GOP turns around and says, look at these failing public schools, let's shut them down. Well, the DeVos agenda has already been proven to be one that ruins public schools. And if you would hurt a great city like Detroit, what would you do to other cities that struggle? They have needs and really want to have a high quality education for their children. The sidewalks were covered with parents, teachers, and students. We're going to have to stand up for our public schools to make sure our kids get a quality education for their future. And we don't want this model throughout the United States. Her intention is to make all of our schools charter. You lured me in with the promise of a high quality education and you lied. We have to show them the right way to do things. Join together and defend public education. We want everybody in America to have a voice and to know that they do matter. Public school needs to be safeguarded.